A joint investigation by the Evening Standard and the Independent has revealed an escalating hunger crisis among children in poverty who are not eligible for free school meals. As many as 800,000 children in England fit into this category. Head teachers and youth workers report that it's leading to desperate behaviour, with pupils stealing food to eat as the cost of living crisis bites. Youth worker Jack Price, who works in three South London schools, describes what he sees on a daily basis. I don't think people realise that a lot of these young people will actually just go hungry. A lot of these young people will just stay silent because they understand the hardships of their parents or their family or their guardians. They know that times are tough and they're not trying to put the burden on their parents and saying, well, mum, I, I ain't really got breakfast. I haven't eaten at break or lunch. A playground is, is meant to be a place where kids are having fun. Um, and now that fun you can see is washed down with kids who are hungry. You're seeing kids share food. Kids are robbing, kids are stealing from supermarkets because they're hungry. No kid wants to do the bad thing. No kid wants to steal, but they're taking food because they're hungry. The amount of people who are going through these struggles is growing. Food charities say the number of school food banks they supply in London has doubled in three years. Every Wednesday at St Mary's Primary School in Battersea, parents queue for the food bank. What's surprising is that most have jobs. They don't earn enough to pull out of poverty, but they get more than £7,400 a year, and it means, crucially, their children are no longer eligible for free school meals. Free school meals aren't enough anymore. The way it works, the way the, the credit works on your free school meals, you're only, able, you're only able to buy one school meal. So let's say snack items or bottle of waters, that takes away from the credit for the one school meal. A young person needs food to just operate, let alone to be doing well in school. And you know the way that these topics work hand in hand with each other, um, you see that young people who aren't eating healthy meals or they're not eating enough food at all, they will do badly in school. It all starts at school because if they can't do well in school, how would they be able to apply themselves in real life? Um, how would they be able to get a good education? At Mandeville Primary in Hackney, they provide free school meals to every child. The government only funds 62% of these pupils, but the schools say the remaining 38% also live in households on universal credit. Many would go hungry if not for Mandeville's policy. It costs them £15,000 a year, but is not supported by government funding. Education is free. The food that they eat when they're being educated should be free. There shouldn't be a, a barrier to learning that's um, linked to how affluent their families are or not. What would normally happen is that at a certain point in a child's um, primary school career, they'll get to a point when those free school meals will end and families will have to try and work out where they're going to get the money from. So I had one parent come to me this week and she was really worried because she had, hadn't realised that we provide free school meals for children throughout school. So she was worried about where she was going to find that money from to provide her child with um, uh, school dinners. So once I explained to her that, that free school meals are an entitlement throughout Mandeville, there was a huge relief. I mean, it's, it's hard to accept that free school meals aren't available to every child in the country. I can't understand why we haven't, as a society, been able to find a way to ensure that public funding goes to every child to ensure that they have a free school meal throughout. It is challenging. That we do, there are considerations that the school has to make in terms of the school budget, and it's not easy. Um, and I suppose if it was easy, every school would do it, because I'm, I'm pretty sure that every school wants this for their children. A basic need for every human is a good, healthy meal. And the fact that we don't, as a country, make sure that that is the right for every child when they're going into school and isn't something that's linked to how much money your parents make is a travesty for me. That's, it's wrong. No parent wants to see their child go hungry, but the rising cost of living has been overwhelming for some. At Spring Community Hub, a charity in Peckham that supports low-income families, their CEO told us about mothers under pressure risking a criminal record to steal food for their families. We did have a mother say 
She actually confessed that she did go to the store. She stole food and school uniform and they caught her. She was screaming, no, I won't give it to you because my kids haven't got any school uniform and the food that she'd taken. But they recognised that she was really desperate. They let her go. When she got outside, they let her out. Another woman was out there waiting to see the outcome. And she asked her, why did you do that? And she said, because my kids got no food to eat. They've got no clothes, no school uniform. And they've got to go to school. And the woman gave her some money to buy some. Every day there is a food bank session happening. Uh, as well as the other things that we do. But if we want to look at food banks, somebody's need of our help every day. Most people don't want to come here. But what's more poignant is that it's more people who are working two to three jobs. We've always had people who've done multiple jobs, but there's more of them. The government provides 1.9 million children in England with free school meals, including all pupils from reception to year two. But 800,000 children live in households in universal credit that do not qualify. A YouGov poll shows 72% of the public think this unfair. They say free school meals should be extended to all children in poverty. If you agree, write to your local MP.